In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install and set up STAR on a Linux system. For those who don't know, STAR is a tool that is used to align or map RNA secrets to a reference sequence. It's a splice aware aligner. So if you want to read more, you can download this manual here and then use that to um, get the basics basically. Okay, so you can use this manual to read and then get the example commands. I'll leave the link to this manual in the description box. You can also go to the developers GitHub page and then you'll find some useful information here. So for this tutorial, what we are going to do is to download the binaries. Okay, so there is a pre-compiled executable for Linux and Mac OS. So I will download the um, one for Linux. That's what we are going to do. So basically that's about it. So we'll just um, follow some simple steps here to set it up on our PC. So let's proceed. So first of all, we need to get the executables. And so we have to go to the releases page. So let's scroll up and then let's go to the releases page. So this is the latest release, but I want us to use this one here. So click on releases. And then this will give us the latest release as well as the previous releases, but we will use this one here. So click on this one here, the 2.7.10a. This one here, which is 220818. So click it and then you'll be sent to another page. So we will use this one here. This is the file here. This has the binary. So you can click to download. Okay. Or you can also use the download link because I will use the terminal. I will get the download link. So I'll right click and then I'll copy the link. So now I'll move to the terminal and then continue. Okay. I am on the terminal now. So what I'll do first is to cd to my home directory and then I'll download the zip file. So I'll use the widget. So I'll say the widget and then I'll supply it with the download link. You can use curl as well. The most important thing here is to get this file on your PC. So I'll run this command. Okay, the file has been downloaded. Let's check it out. So do an ls and you'll find the file there. So what I'm going to do next is to extract the contents of this file. So I'll say unzip and I supply it with the name and then I execute this command. So if I do an ls now, I should see this file there. So that is the executable. Okay, I repeat, this is the executable. So now I can run this. Okay, so I can say dot slash star then i can use that to run some star commands so it is how we do it okay so that's the star binary or the star executable what i'm going to do next is to create a directory and then move this executable into it okay so i do this because it helps me to organize my files so I'll say make the apps and I'll say make the apps slash star. And then I'll move the file into the star directory. So I'll say mv star apps slash star. So now if I do an ls, I'll see my app directory ls apps. I'll see my star directory ls apps slash star. I'll see my file there. So if I want to call star, I'll say apps apps slash star slash star. And then I can call this executable file. So that's about it. Okay, let's proceed. With our current setup, we always have to specify the path to the star executable. Okay, but 
if on a Linux system, it's possible to configure it so that you can only use this name here to call the file. But with our current setup, if you do this, we will have this message coming, command not found. Okay, so what we are going to do is to configure our system so that we can just use the name here to call this file. Okay, so that means we have to first get the path, the absolute path to the star file. So we have to CD into apps and then into star. So we say CD apps star. Of course, if you do an LS, you'll find a file there. We are now going to issue the pwd command. So I'll say pwd. And then I'll get this absolute part. This is what I need. Yours is likely to be different. Okay. But make sure you have this and then you can copy it. So now we will cd back to our home directory. So I'll say cd. And then I'm going to edit the dot file. Okay. And then add and this um, part into the system part. Before I do that, I'll need to make a backup of the bashrc file. So I'll say cp.bashrc.back. This is just a backup. After that, I'll edit the bashrc file. So I'll say nano. You can also use vi or any text editor, but I prefer nano. So I'll say nano.bashrc. And then I will open it. I will then move to an empty space. And then I'll issue this command. I'll say export path equals dollar path. I'll bring a colon and then I'll also paste the absolute path to the star executable. And then I'll save the changes. So now I have done that. What I'm going to do next is to open a new terminal so that the changes that I have made will take effect. So I'll open a new terminal now. Okay, I have opened a new terminal now so I can say star. And then uh, the command will be executed for me successfully. So that means that everything is okay. So you are good to go. So now we have to do a cleanup. So let's do an ls and then you will see this bash rc.back and then this zip file. You can choose to leave them, but I will prefer to remove them. So I will remove them. So I'll start with this one here. So I'll say rm rm dash i and then I'll specify the name. So the dash i I will let me confirm okay the activity. So I'll just type y. And then the file will be removed. The rm command is used to remove files. And then whatever you do, it's irreversible. So you have to be careful when using the rm command. I'll do the same for this one here, the zip file. So I'll say rm dash i. And then I'll just specify the name. I'll confirm. So now it's done. So I should see only the apps directory there. So that's about it. So this is how we set up star on a Linux system using the binaries. So now that you are done with this, it's time to watch the other star tutorials. There's one that shows you how to map RNA sequences to reference sequence. And there's also um, another one that shows you how to install star by compile from source. There's also another one that shows you how to install star using Anaconda. So check all these videos now.